I'd like to start with this. Um, we've had standards before. What makes this different? What makes these standards different? Okay, uh, I'll try one answer. I think there are many answers. I think both Common Core and Next Generation Science Standards embody a shift in the way a classroom works, away from teacher as information giver and towards students as learners working together, discourse among students in the classroom coming up and teacher talk going down. That's a huge change, particularly from what we've been doing these last few years. And having that change happen across all subject areas, so it's a change of school culture, and not just in one subject area is really, really important. Yeah. Well, and I think also, as you kind of think about uh, where we are today, uh, you can go on your portable whatever, and you can punch in the question you want, as we were seeing in the video this morning, and there's the answer. It's not about today and for our kids' future. Remember, we're, we're we're trying to get kids to be prepared for the future. And it's not about just knowing the information. It's about what you do with it. And so what is so exciting and unique about the NGSS standards, which is, and about Common Core, and about the, um, the English, the ELA, and the, the math, it's really trying to get kids to think about what's the information I have, and now what do I do with it? And then when you start looking at um, the NGSS and you have the cross-cutting concepts, think about you know, when, you, when they sent Curiosity to Mars, what were they looking for? They were looking for biological evidence, but they're also looking for what else do we see that's, that we can understand? And so one of the pictures that David was showing me the other day, he was showing me a picture of a riverbed that has no water in it. And he says, what do you see? And you see round pebbles and you see layers, you see all kinds of stuff. And he says, so where do you think this picture is? Well, it was obviously in Mars. And yet, I knew that it was a riverbed because of the patterns that I had seen here on the Earth. And so that's what we have to do. We have to get our kids to be curio have the curiosity to go forward, but we've got to give them the tools. And that's the practices, and then it's also those cross-cutting themes, because you need something to hang your hat on. When you don't know what's going on, you have to start looking for something that you do know about. And that's what those cross-cutting themes really do for you.